Shemai GTA fans, it's day two of the Los Santos Tuners update on GTA and I'm going to take you through uh, another mission in this video. So it's going to be the auto shop mission and it's going to be the prison mission where we're going to assassinate somebody in a prison. So here we go, eyes down look in. Well we did the EQ job, the ECU job yesterday, so check that video out if you want to know about that one. And today it's the prison contract, so first we need the inside man. We're going to get Sessant's cousin, Sessant's cousin Little D. He's not going to be annoying. And pick him up. So this mission is all about picking Little D up and taking him to do some naughty business. I'm going to use my oppressor mark to a bit less today. Just to show you that I am capable of driving a different vehicle, he says, falling off. This is the Apocalypse Death Bike. When you go around a corner, <laughs> those little spinning blades on the front can knock you off your bike if you hit the curb. It's uh, been quite a long time since I've used this, but it's, it's probably my third favourite motorbike. There he is, little D. I mean, he is a really slow walker. That's summit for him. I think it's because he's glucose intolerant. Okay, let's speed him up because little D is going to talk some nonsense in our ear while we try and drive to the target. So we get to drive cross town. Is it this the um, the car that you can win in the uh, prize ride? Excellent, isn't it? It's alright to drive. It's not bad. Not bad for free. Check out my video on the um, races to help you win that car which will be coming out shortly okay he's going to meet his dodgy mate they're going to do some kind of chat and hug you know man hug maybe they're lovers possible but with that smoking breath that's not going to be a nice kiss is it he's not very considerate of his male partner okay and across town we go there's a lot of a lot of donkey work on this one it's basic, that both setups are basic um, for this heist, if you can call hey, it that, up, contract. You with that guy, D? Seth said you was going to meet him. I heard he was a little crazy, but then if he's willing to go to jail just to ID some fools for us, that's the kind of crazy I like. Stay sharp, I'm going to holler at you. Okay, so the idea is he's going to go to prison in order to get this contract done, get these people killed. It's a crazy idea. I can't see it working in real life. Um, but I'm looking at these ballers that are surrounding us and we're going to get shot to hell once um, the cat gets out of the basket. And there it is. Gunshots. So he's shooting some fool. And then he's going to turn himself into the police. Alright, at this point it gives you an option. You take out the gang members or try and escape. At first I tried to take out the gang members, which clearly didn't work. I've tried this before. You drive down Baller Street and shoot people. They're a never-ending never ending cycle of doom if you do that. So we decided to bug out in the end and take a ride back across the city, back to where we came from. So there we are, drop off at the police department, which is handily next door, see? The cheapest auto shop is the best. Okay, the final setup. There's two setups on this one. It's the access point. We need to find a way to get over the prison's perimeter fence. <laughs> it's quite a uh, crude method, I'll tell you that, for free. Um, so grab another bike and away we go. Should tell you that we're doing this solo throughout and okay. it's doable for sure. Well, there are some frustrating points which I will point out. All right. Well, we've got a train there, lovely jubbly. And then we are going to get this truck. So, got my automatic rifle here, nice and easy headshots. We'll get rid of these fools pretty quick. Pretty sharpish. Yeah, pretty good, eh? Yeah, this reminds me, there's another mission like this where you've got to shoot the fools on the other side of the bank. 
think it was a, um, a steel mission. So I'm used to doing that. I, remem I remember that's a long time ago. Seems like a long time. Now this is a Terminator. Look at this bit of a glitch here. I think he's dead. I'm shooting him in the anus there. And the head, for sure. But watch him get up. You think he's dead? He really isn't. Arnold Schwarzenegger, that. Um, what I should have done is tried to call in my own truck because that's a lot faster than this one. But I'm not sure if you can in the setups. Actually, you can in the setups because you've got access to your own vehicles. So, yeah. I should have got my truck. And that would have been nice. But instead, I'm going to link up this, run over the Terminator, and try and escape him. Also, run over my own lovely motorbike. Right, it's pretty basic at this point. You've got two star wanted level. You can't get more than two stars. Because as you will see, as I shoot the police, stars do not increase. But it's going to be a bit boring if I run around in this rig to try and escape the police. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to park it up, get my Mark II oppressor. I told you I wasn't going to use that, but I am. I'm a bit frustrated with the um, wanted level. I thought I'd jump out there. Yeah, I got the um, AK-47 out for some reason. I don't normally use that one, but I've obviously not set up my weapons correctly. So we're going to hang out up here, wait for the police to go, and then we're back down, and we are going to get in our truck. Now, did anyone see Beverly Hills Cop when uh, he's smashing his truck in a truck full of cigarettes into all these cars and causing destruction? Eddie Murphy, brilliant film. He goes. <laughs> Nobody remember that? No, probably not. Well, watch it. It's an education. It's a great film. Beverly Hills Cop. Recommended. Yeah. We're going north to the drop-off. It's quite straightforward, this one. There's some dude that's going to be waiting for us. And, yeah. Pretty exciting, eh? Ever gone off-road in a truck? I haven't, as a first. And we're on the dirt tracks to meet up with our mate right next door to the prison. So, there's a prison on the right. And we have delivered. See those arcade machines? Those are free if you buy the auto shop this week. It's an incentive, maybe. Maybe not. Right, we're going to do the hit. This is the f grand finale. We are going to go into the prison and we are going to shoot some fools, some snitches. Weapon loadout, sharpshooter, has a heavy sniper mark too, but I don't think we want that. Hustler has bullpup, bullpup rifle mark too. I like that. It's my favourite rifle. So I think I'm going to choose that. Heavy weight. Maybe. It's also got some uh, bombs as well with the uh, Hustler. Well, they've all got bombs. It's got pipe bombs. They're not coming useful. And machine pistol. So we're going to use the machine pistol in, in the car. So yeah, that's uh, that's how we're going to do this. That's how it's going to go down. I'm going to speed this bit up because it's just basically driving across the city. So we're going to go up to the Bolingbroke Penitentiary. Um, I'm just as a as a guard as well. I, I just put that on. I'm not. Uh, that's not part of this whatsoever. Just bearing that in mind. And I, I found it funny that while I'm dressed as a guard, none of them questioned me, my allegiance to them, and that I wasn't a snitch or a, or a police or a guard. You know, I I think it would be a bit dodgy if someone turned up to a to a, a contract, uh, a hit contract, dressed as a guard. That's a bit overkill, isn't it? Okay, here it is. Gonna jump off this ramp, time. nice and easy. We airborne, baby. Hey, you sick this landing? Yo, dash cam gonna be worth this way. Right, you go. see the skulls inside? As as you end, That's you what we're aiming for. Oh, we can't get in that way. The way through to the yard is right near the water tower. Okay. We gotta go through the water yard. tower. I expect they're gonna come at you. So, yeah, ready, let's find the water they tower, shall we? Girl, PD, Just keep driving around until you see the water tower. There it is. I'm going to take a right here, there, nicely, nicely. This will give us access to the yard to um, bury some fools, yeah. Make some bank, as they say. There they are, just shoot them over and them over. They'll be, they'll be quite happy with that. It's funny that only the snitches are out, 
none of the other prisoners are out in the yard. That's lucky, isn't it? It's almost like it's a computer game and not real. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the the other snitches. And we're gonna drop them. Okay, where are they? There they are. I'm trying to run away. I'm not sure about this AP pistol, to be quite honest. Oh, I prefer the other one. This is a Tesco value oh, AP pistol to give us. Alright, you hear that? Matey's cousin has been thrown on a bus, on a fun bus. As soon as you're done, there's only one way out this bitch. Straight out the motherfucking front gate. Straight out the mother freaking front gate. There you go. Not swearing in case I uh, lose my monetization. I've not got any monetization on this channel, so it makes no difference. I could swear like a trooper. But most of the time I choose not to. Alright, we're going to the front gate here. All we need to do is shoot some panels. Which, which um, Matilda will tell us when we arrive. There it is, destroy the panel. So there's the panel, we're shooting and shooting and shooting. I don't know any electronics that if you destroy it, it makes it work. What up, though? Y'all apartment hunting in that bitch or what? I like the way oh, this guy's criticizing me. I just the shot the panel, get to the gate, and it did not open. So we need, we need our P and Qs. We need some armor. The helicopter is quite damaging. It's not. It's worse than the normal one, I think. So it'll drain your armor pretty quick. So I'll keep an eye on that. There's a police. I was tempted to blow them up, but I'm saving it. Okay, pipe bomb. You make your own pipe bomb at, bomb at home, just get a bit of copper and some... Uh... <laughs> no, I can't, uh, I can't tell you how to do that. I don't know how to. Obviously. Okay, this is all sped up massively. Because it's going to take a long time for anything to happen there. So you can see I'm just going backwards and forwards. More armour. More shooting of this control box that does not work. And I'm finding this little hole to hide in. Try that. And eventually I'm going to run out of ammo. Or I have run out of ammo. I'm on pistols. Thank you very much, Rockstar. Alright, we died. That's the way you get out of it, basically. Die. <laughs> Which means I don't have my decent car, but I'm going to, I'm going to acquire a rubbish one here. Yeah. Now, at this point it would benefit from having um, a bulletproof tyre car, for sure. As we all know, the police are going to shoot the tyres out at some point. But, here we are, looking for the fun bus. There it is. So I'll shoot the driver, wait for the portly chap to get in. He is a slow walker, he's waiting for you, trying to entice a headshot on you by the police. And then we drive off into the sunset. We are four star wanted level. Um, yeah, I should probably try and lose the wanted level on the way, really. I think I make a very, very big mistake in not doing that, as you will see. And it's been a long time since I've had to lose wanted levels um, in a car, usually for master, get on a, a Mark II or any kind of flying vehicle. <laughs> um, so, sense of direction is terrible as well. I've, I know this city. You know, I recognise it, but finding where I want to go here is painful, to be quite honest. I've just swapped cars because I um, blew the tyres out. Thank you, the police have blown the tyres out, and it's even worse because it's a muscle car, back wheel drive. So I'll get in a police car with the portly gent, who is very slow. At this point, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's a good strategy to, to hide under a bridge like a troll. No, that does not work for anybody. Driving up and down here isn't working either. So I'm going to drive aimlessly around the city. This was my actual tactics. I'm going to drive aimlessly around the city till I find that subway station kind of area, you know, the, uh, the find the subway entrance. Oh, the other, the other alternative is the sewers up by the casino. How desperate is that? I do not have a clue. But here it is. That is my strategy, my stratagem. Not a good one. I think it shows how much you benefit from having your own personal vehicle because you don't numpty around getting tires shot out in your faster vehicle more likely to evade the cops. 
Okay, so here we are, underneath, in our subway. And then we're going to go out again. And we are going to drop this slightly annoying, slow-walking guy off at his um, house. At his house. And then that will complete this mission. Alright, so these auto shop missions are quite good, quite fun. Uh, 1.7 million is quite high entry kind of price to get access to them. They're not as good as the casino heist or the um, KO Perico, which I know some people are sick of, um, so they might give a breather for that. Um, and there are some glitches to be ironed out, and I think it, it's a little bit basic the way the NPCs deal with you. You can earn some money with this. It's 175, but more like 157 once you take into account Sir Santa's cut. And you could get some friends involved to make it a bit easier, I think. Less complicated. So, if you found that useful, do like and subscribe, because I've got great future content on Los Santos tuners, um, which will be available soon. Um, next video coming out in a couple of hours. Let me know your thoughts on this mission in the comments and we can open a discussion on it, see if you've had any problems, any glitches and what do you think about the payout and the complexity of the mission, how are you doing it, have you done it solo, have you done it as a group so yeah I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next video, thank you very much for watching